Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and in this video, I just want to show you CloudFront. So let's make our way over to CloudFront. And CloudFront is a content delivery network, and it's used to cache your data all over the place. As you can see, I have some older ones here. If you have a splash screen, what you can do is just look for the left-hand side. There might be a hamburger menu. Open that up, and then click on distributions. And what we're going to do is create a new distribution. If you don't want to create one, because these do take forever to create, um, you can just kind of watch along. I don't even feel like I'm going to hit the um, the create distribution button because I just hate waiting for so long. But the idea is that you have to choose an origin. And so the origin could be something like an S3 bucket, a load balancer, media store. This is where um, the, the content distribution network is going to source its content, right? So if I say this bucket here, um, and I just, it would probably default to the root path. The idea is that it's going to be able to pull content from there and then cache it everywhere. And then down below, you can say, okay, set the type of protocol, redirect to here. You can set up uh, caching rules or like how often do you want it to uh, cache, like cache a lot, don't cache a lot. But the great thing is like you have these edge or these um, Lambda edge functions. So you can uh, read and modify the request and response to the CDN, which is very powerful. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go look at what we already have. Cause again, I said they take forever to spin up and we're not gonna see too much if we do. So once it's spun up, um, this is what it looks like. So you'll have an origin, it says where it's pointing to. You can create multiple origins, group them. Uh, you can modify your behavior. So that was basically what we were looking at before. As you can see, we have our behavior there. Nothing super exciting. We can set up error pages. You can restrict based on geographical location. So if you're, for whatever reason, if, you, if you're not allowed to serve content in UK, you could say exclude this geographical region, right? So you have an allow list or a block list saying like, okay, we can't do UK. Cause like, let's say you just don't want to do, um, let's say England. You don't want to do um, uh, GDPR for whatever reason you could block out. I don't know, I'm having a hard time here. Britain, England, it's England, right? United Kingdom, there we go. So you just say, okay, forget United Kingdom. I don't have to do GDPR now. Uh, for invalidations, the idea is that, you know, it is a cache, so uh, things can get stale or just persist. And so here you can just type in, say, I want to get rid of uh, image.jpg, and then you create that invalidation, and then it will go delete it out of the cache. And so the next time someone requests, they'll get the, the fresh content. This usually doesn't take that long, but that's pretty much CloudFront in a nutshell, okay?